have today something uh, different, but not. So I, I do have a monochromatic playlist. I'll link that for you guys to take a, a, a look. But if you've been with me for a while, you know that I do a lot of black and white bases and a lot of pores with black and white. Okay. So what I wanted to do today, because I want to do, I have an idea in my head for acrylic skins. And anyone who's new that doesn't know what that is, it's when your paint drips and it dries on whatever surface, okay? But for me, I use parchment paper. And this parchment paper is fantastic for a million things. I've mentioned it in many videos. But today what I've done, and I do this sometimes, is I've curled up, folded all of the corners so that when the paint drips off the canvas, not only will the paint pool on top of each other rather than slide and move away, which I don't want because I have a beautiful round glass table, and trust me from experience, it's not fun cleaning it. That way, once the paint dries, where it's parchment paper, the paint will not stick. So I can just nicely peel that back, that super satisfying peeling. Who doesn't love that? It's like popping bubbles, you know? Um, super satisfying. And uh, which is another reason why I love texture. The sound, the textile, just love it. Um, and so I wanted to get some monochromatic skins for uh, abstract painting that I have in my head. And the cells would be fantastic. So I have three parts Floetrol, one part paint, no silicone, and a squirt of Liquitex gloss pouring medium in each one of them. Because I want the cells to be really nicely formed, instead of making my paint super thin, they're like a, like a tad over my slight mound. So that means that it's not a trace, Okay, and once you let it sit on top, it does dissipate, but it goes away just a little bit slower, but quicker than a mound. I know, clear as mud. Anyways, I'm excited, guys. Let's go ahead and get going. 